What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Old Ass Casuals. I'm Justin. Hey, I'm Kelly, and we are a mother and son video game playing duo. And we are about to watch a trailer for Call of Duty. He said duty! <laughs> I know. Every time I say Call of Duty, <laughs> I, I think of the same joke as well. I like that, you know, me and you moms, we're, mm -hmm. we're, we're on the exact same way. Yeah, we are. We, we may have years between us. <laughs> but we still think very, very similar. Still mentally five years old. Yes, yes, we are indeed. Uh, but I, I'm excited to look at this trailer. Uh, this is the official, official one because apparently this trailer leaked earlier than the week and, and Activision was like, no, it leaked, this sucks, uh, because they wanted to show it off at San Diego Comic-Con. They had a big panel for it and everything. Right. So. And we didn't watch it. We didn't. We refrained. We we did what you guys wanted us yep. to do, Activision. We tried to be good about it, and we we waited to so watch. So send this us the game. Yes, for free. <laughs> Two copies as well. As well. We exactly, because like. <laughs> we don't live anywhere close. No. If I get one, mom's has got to get one, and if mom gets one, I guess to get one because we got to play together. Fair. Yeah, that's it, right. It, it is only fair, and apparently this mode is co-op, so that's great for us. Awesome. And it's got zombies. We also love zombies. It's perfect for us. It is perfect for us. Um, hopefully, it's badass. We will watch the trailer, going to react to it, and then we're going to come back and give you guys our thoughts and opinions on the trailer and whether or not my mom and I will be stepping into the world of Call of Duty come uh, later this fall. So uh, let's sit back, watch, and enjoy the zombie carnage. Spooky already. Yeah, indeed. Loving this setting. Mm-hmm. Oh. Ooh, oh. down below the streets. <laughs> Even and scarier. Be yeah, oh, below shit. the below. Below, below, <laughs> below the streets. Damn. Oh, oh shit. That's mm. never good when you see those chainsaw-looking things. I have seen the vision of our Fuhrer's future. Oh, shit, Nazi zombies. <laughs> The death of the old world and the birth. And would they do that crazy blurry thing with it? <laughs> I don't know. Always that scares scary. me. Oh yeah. Can you hear it? Damn. Drums. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh, Holy shit! These zombies look badass. The march of progress. God, there's blood everywhere. I know it's so intense. I have built more than just a new kind of soldier. It's alive! Yet the devil himself. What? Oh, it is alive! Super zombie. Yeah. Dear God, that zombie is ridiculously fucking huge! <laughs> oh my God. What the hell? now and get access to the private beta. Ooh, the private beta. <sighs> Damn. I'm like, I'm like over here sweating because that trailer was so intense. That's some scary shit. <laughs> that was some scary shit. That, that freaking gigantic zombie has like basically like some kind of, did it have a chainsaw like attached to its <laughs> arm or, I or something? I hope so. I, I do too. I, I think that looked incredible. Uh, the voice. I feel like that was Udo Kier. That's who I felt like that was. And I know he's in the game. Yeah. And that, I mean, it makes perfect sense that he would play the villain because that, you know, that's what Udo Kier does. He plays the villain and he plays it so well. Uh, and I know he was on a panel at San Diego Comic Con today when they announced the trailer and everything. Mm -hmm. But I didn't, I didn't know like which character he was going to be playing. But it sounds like he's playing some like evil scientist or something that's making this freaking zombie Nazi is, army. Is that the guy that flirts with all the girls that it sit is, in the panel? It is. Yeah. It, it, that, okay. is that is the dude. Yes, that's <laughs> the guy that I had on the panel that I worked with uh, earlier in the year for the yeah. Puppet Master movie, mm -hmm. and uh, and yeah, he is fantastic and. Uh. His voice. So much charisma. The yes. dude, you could just sit and watch him for hours. You could. He definitely oozes the charisma. Um, according to Sledgehammer Games, and that's who <laughs> developed the game, Activision is publishing it. Uh, this this is a co-op survival experience in oh. Call of Duty, World War II, Nazi zombies. Uh, <laughs> 
uh, I'm channeling my uh, my my inner Brad Pitt in uh, in that uh, Inglorious Bastards movie. Players will embark on a chilling and mysterious journey through a snowy Bavarian village in Mittelberg, Germany, as they tempt to recover priceless works of art stolen by the Axis powers in WW2. But the kicker is this mm -hmm. village holds a shadowy secret key to an unimaginable and monstrous power. Nothing is as it seems in this zombie horror as a dark and sinister plot unfolds to unleash an invincible zombie army <laughs> of the world. It looks scary, and but the thing is, is it was, it was so beautiful at the same time. I mean, it was really just very crisp and clear and clean. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I could see every little drop of blood and grossness, and I mean, it was that was an awesome trailer. It was. It was fantastic. I'm, I'm totally with you. Those zombies, uh, the, the level of detail and attention on each mm -hmm. one of them was, was fantastic. And like the deterioration on each one was, mm -hmm. was so cool. Looking. I could smell them from here. Yeah, I, I started smelling stinky and it wasn't because I let a <laughs> fart out. So uh, that's, that's... Or maybe you know, it was. It but... could have been. I don't know. <laughs> but I know that was a damn good trailer. And uh, I've, I'm, I'm not typically on the Call of Duty bandwagon. Mm -hmm. But I would love to play this game. The one thing I will say is I wish that they would start releasing these uh, these additional campaigns or stories or whatever multiplayer mm -hmm. parts. I wish they would make it where you could pay twenty bucks and just get the the zombie mode because that's all I really want. I, right. I, you know, right. Even though Call of Duty, their campaigns are fantastic and their track record lately hasn't been all that great for me at least i know a lot of other people are like no call of duty is still fantastic it's still great uh but the last couple of games just didn't really do it for me like call of duty ghosts that one just was a big miss for me mm. uh advanced warfare didn't really draw me in but this one the world war ii aspect looks really badass yeah. and this mm -hmm. zombie one uh, looks yeah. pretty badass too yeah. so i've played no call of duty games uh surprisingly enough uh, stepdaughters played it, played it, played it, played yeah. it, like over and over again, which was crazy to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they loved it. So uh, I don't know. But the zombie part of it, I, I really, I'm with you. I, I can pay for that, like, right now. Yes, right now. Come on. Mm -hmm. Activision, Sledgehammer Games. Hook a, hook a mom and son team up. Exactly. With some World War II Nazi zombies. That would be so much fun. So <laughs> we want to know what you guys thought of this trailer. Did you like it as much as we did? Did it convince you like, hey, maybe Call of Duty is back. Maybe it's time to go, you know, plunk some dollars down on Call of Duty this fall. Let us know all those thoughts in the comment box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>